Hey everyone, this is Jane with Barlow Herbal and I wanted to give you a message of hope and love and beauty because first of all, we are all alive on this planet and our chances of being here in this body in this exact moment in time is very, very special. And I know we're going through a lot of hard things together as humanity and I just want to tell you that we need to love each other, support each other wherever we are on our journey. So if you think people are being ridiculous wearing masks, you need to not berate them. If you feel like people need to wear their masks and you're being angry because someone is not wearing a mask, you need to love them and their journey through this life. We are literally on this planet together trying to make sense of everything crazy that's going on. So I wanna share with you a few of my perspectives. Number one is when this whole thing happened, I didn't give it much thought because I take such good care of my health and I feel confident in the way I live my life uh, that whatever epidemic, pandemic, whatever is going to happen, and we've had other things in the past like MERS and SARS and H1N1 and the swine flu and the bird flu, this is not anything that we haven't dealt with before. Um, we all hear, hear the words about this is different, this is different, and yeah, there's different strains of viruses that float around the world, and that is true. That it, There's no doubt that this is different. H1N1 was different. SARS was different. These things affect our human body differently. So when this whole thing hit, and it didn't really affect me very much for the first couple days, um, when it finally kind of sunk in that all of these things that we get so used to having in our life and doing freely were all of a sudden taken away, I was left with kind of a sense of utter disbelief of what was actually happening. And as it kind of rolled out these last couple months, my first thoughts were, okay, we get to reset, we get to regroup, the planet gets a chance to breathe, we get to cook meals at home, we get to spend more time with our family. And I still believe that those are amazing gifts that we've been given as humanity. And another thing that I still really believe that we need to look at this as a gift is we need to realize how important it is to take care of our physical body. When our immune system, when our microbiome is in a really good state and it has all the beneficial bugs like virus, bacteria, yeast, candida, fungus, parasites, and I'm not saying you should let your body get overgrown with any of these things, but we are the perfect microbiome and we are one with the planet. You know, we get to live in harmony with the planet and all of that keeps us healthy. Like when you go to the beach and you walk in the water and you get your hands in the dirt in your garden, all of those things contain microbes that literally help, be, help a human body be healthy. When you garden and you get your hands dirty, you are literally providing your body with the microbes. It's one reason why you feel so good when you go to the beach. You dig your feet in the sand. You walk in the water with all the microbes and minerals in the water. It, there's a reason that you're not, it's, there's a reason you feel good. It's not just the fact that you might be on vacation. It's because your body's getting all these healthy, beneficial microbes. So when you have this knowledge of the way your system and your body works with Mother Nature, it can give you the confidence when anything happens around the world that might give you cause to be fearful, you now have the confidence that if you pay attention to your health and your microbiome and the way you feed yourself, the food that you eat, the amount of stress you have or don't have in your life, the water you drink, the love you have in your life, you pay attention to all of these things, whatever sweeps around the world is going to sweep around the world. And if you're in a population that is compromised and you need to stay in and social distance, you need to do that. If you need to wear a mask in public, I support you. And I, I love you, whatever you want to do. And I hope that those who are wearing masks are not judging those who aren't. So I want you to look, and vice versa. Don't throw judgment around. This is where we need to seriously, literally come together as one humanity. We need to take better care of our planet. We need to take better care of our bodies. We need to connect with Mother Nature. 
get out if you don't have a place where you in your where you live where you can go out in your yard and literally take off your shoes and stand in the grass or you don't have a place where you can garden and get your hands in the dirt find a place in your area in your neighborhood where you can do that and go do that and connect energetically with the earth it's good it's good for you so if you are immunocompromised there of course there's things that you can do with your diet with the things that you even supplementation can make a big difference do those things be proactive and another thing i like to really harp on and make sure and remind you is to get out and move your physical body and we need to not use the excuses that we use all the time it's cold outside it's too hot outside it's raining outside i think as humans we've gotten so soft that we forget that in order to get to the good stuff we have to sometimes suffer and I know that as a person who's always been very physical and very active, there's been so many years when I've doing my workout and it's hard. And there's sometimes I when I want to stop. But at this point, because I've been a workout person and it's part of my routine for my whole adult life, it feels good to me. And I know that when I get through a super hard rep of weights or I'm doing a super hard hike, the payoff of not only what I'm doing and where I'm going, but the physical benefits of that suffering that I go through is so worth it. In fact, what happens is you start to enjoy that suffering because you know the payoff is so huge at the other end. So I want to encourage you to get off the couch and start challenging yourself. And if it's uncomfortable because the weather is bad on either spectrum, any of the things that we use for excuses, I want you to push yourself out of that comfort zone and really take care of your physical body in a movement kind of a way. Your circulation, your skin, your, your digestive system, like everything gets better. You're gonna sleep better. Sex is gonna be better. Everything is better in your life when you exercise and you take care of your physical body. So let's be kind to each other. Let's remember that we're here together and if somebody is mad because you're either wearing a mask or not wearing a mask be kind because remember what they're doing is they are having their own experience and they maybe don't have the knowledge and the resources that you have and when we live in kindness and we don't make assumptions and we don't take anything personally our life is going to just be brilliant and we get to vibrate in love rather than in fear so i hope you have an amazing day thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll talk to you soon